Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, I'm your host, Mrs. M. And if you haven't, make sure you click the link below. That way you can subscribe to my channel and not miss out on anything you need to scale your cleaning business to six figures and beyond. Pow! So I had to rearrange some things, no worries. Still wanna make sure I give you this information. So I was actually saying, if you've ever been concerned on what you need to do to bid, that was always one of my major concerns. Was I leaving too much money on the table by not bidding high enough? Was I bidding too high? So nowadays, it's so much easier because you actually have formulas, softwares, things like that. Not so much when I got started years, years, years ago. But no matter what, whether you have software, you may not have the money for software bidding, there's a simple formula that you can always follow that's going to be great. You ready? Here we go. Number one, when you're looking at bidding, the very first thing you must figure out is your cleanable space, what you're going to clean. Once you figure out what your cleanable space is, now you can do that in a number of ways. You can actually buy a tool from one of the, one of the hardware companies, Lowe's, Ace, Home Depot, that actually will give you the square footage of a building, of a room. You're gonna take that, it'll give you square footage, you add that up, that's gonna give you the cleanable space. Some people, when they're doing restrooms, they like to count how many toilets or sinks or fixtures when they're looking to clean and they figure about five minutes per one toilet. You know, if you do base of it inside, outside, um, change the toilet paper, they figure about five minutes, two to three, five, two to three minutes to clean per toilet and per sink. Now that depends on your speed, but once you figure out what your cleanable space is and however you want to include the restrooms, individually check the the fixtures how many sinks how many toilets some people look to do it that way once you know what your cleanable space is next you have to figure out what is the time it's going to take the average person to clean now i know some people are quicker some people are slower i like to look at the average now this depends on the density how many people there are in there how old the building is all of that matters on how fast you can clean but you may want to do anywhere between 2,200 square feet to 3,200 square feet, depending on what kind of facility it is. Then you're gonna take the square footage, cleanable square foot, and you're gonna divide the amount of time it takes per hour. So per man hours is what that 22 and 3,200 square feet is. Divide that, then you wanna figure out what the frequency is how many times you're going in, five days a week, seven days a week, three days a week, one day a week. Take that and figure out what it is per month. You're gonna go with 4.2. Always remember, there are more days in a month. It's not always an even four weeks. Some people do 4.4, 4.2, 4.3, but I do 4.2. Now, that is the formula that I've used time and time again that has worked for me. Then that gives me the man hours for the month that I need to figure out what am I going to pay. Then I figure out what I'm going to pay in my area. DC is 15 an hour, Virginia is 725. It's crazy, I can't believe it's you know just 725, um, but it is. So you depend on, I never paid anyone a minimum wage because I wanted them to be able to live and not be stressed while they're working for me. So I was fortunate to charge enough and have enough margins in my bid calculations when I was doing contracts to pay them a decent wage. I think I was paying in the state of Florida where I first got started like 10 or $12 an hour, something like that. So that is your formula to figure out government bids, commercial bids, wherever you're bidding, figure out cleanable, cleanable space, what it's going to take someone, the actual man hours, depending on the facility. Then you're going to figure out the frequency. Then you're going to look at what is the amount of money you're going to pay them. That is your labor. Sometimes it's around 50%. Then you're going to look at your overhead. That's going to be your insurance, your equipment, your supplies. All of that's going to be your overhead. That should be around 30%. And then your profit can be 20. I always put in my proposals, prices are negotiable. I remember I was doing an office depot. They had a bid of like 25,000. And I think I was off just a little bit. I would have lost that contract if I had not put prices when it both negotiable. I think I was off by $200. Of course, I didn't mind getting 
you know, coming down on my profit a bit instead of 20%, maybe 18% or 15%, because that bid that I got, that, that contract, actually won me hundreds of thousands of dollars doing Office Depot warehouses because we got all of them within the state of Florida or a large amount of them. So those are some things that you want to think about when you're cleaning. Have a formula. That way you know what it is each and every time. You can use that formula for government, commercial, doesn't matter. Any type of contract you're looking to bid on. Number two, right now, the number one place for government contracts where they're hiring like crazy for janitorial, well, let's we'll say facility services support, disinfecting, um, security, all of that is Department of Defense. Who is Department of Defense? DOD. And that is all of your military bases, installations. That is exactly it. Number two, that they're hiring the most right now, when I looked at it just this morning before I came on this video, was they were looking at hiring in SBA, Small Business Administration. So most of you have a little satellite office. These are entry level. DOD may not be, maybe large contracts. Um, some launch, some small, but with the Small Business Administration, you will normally have a satellite office that you can look to clean. Veteran Affairs rounded out the top five, so did FEMA. So there is a list right now, so get busy, because like I said, as time goes on, more and more government contracts are coming available as we get closer to September. It's ticking, it's ticking, it's getting there. Get everything in order. Do not miss out on this opportunity, whether that includes getting certified, registering for your SAMs, whatever it is, make sure you make it happen. And if you need any assistance from us, then make sure you reach out at 407-986-8228. Or today, I am having the free masterclass workshop where you can register. I'm going to cover some things I haven't covered before. Each time I try to give you something new where you can learn and continuously learn when it comes to all things government, when it comes to government clean contracts. There's so many things to cover. Look forward to seeing you there. Space is limited. Click in the link to actually to register at 10. Hope to see you there. And until the next video, be safe and take care. Bye-bye.